probably should have got myself a drink before I'd done this, but um, I didn't, so I'm just going to have to brave through it. Um, Alright, and welcome back to the Living Sync Career Mode. Um, kicking off our game against Motherwell, and I'm pretty sure in the first couple of clips. Um, there's commentary on top of it. We have three debutant chances of being one. Opening the scoring, less than nine minutes and his debut. Well, it's the start, isn't uh, is it a debut for him? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, absolutely stunning goal. Um, the low driven shot tends to never work for me. I don't know if it's the same for anybody else. Um, that's why I stopped using it for so long and then started using finesse shots, which apparently they've nerfed, which is really annoying. Which means I'm just going to have to keep striking at goal. Um, without any, you know, finesses, low driven, anything. Um, Torres has a good attempt and hits the bar, but yeah, we have three debutants, I'm pretty sure. Chancery, uh, Kato Nakamura, and Jordan Gray, right midfielder and centre attacking midfielder. Um, and we, well, we kick off against Motherwell. Curtis Maid having a good attempt. Anderson meets the attempt though with a very good save. Two days up there as well. Chancery getting another great attempt. But um no such luck with finishing it off. And f f fucking cunt. Actually chasing them in the pitch. Proper chasing them in the pitch. Um supposed to do any job there. Nakamura gets an attempt right the keeper. Um and well, we win one nil with that very, very honestly. I'd probably argue that shot was probably unsavable. But yeah, next game, Dundalk. Probably saying that wrong. Dundalk, Dundalk, Dundalk. Sounds better. <laughs> uh, going back to our uh, strong team, and then you can hear the the Champions League anthem. Um, it really is brilliant. Absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, we've got the likes of the man on the team, Navarro. Um, pretty sure Morris has started as well because in the first um, in the first leg he had a very good game, two assists. Um, who were the scorers actually? Navarro and Martinez, both at the back stick. Um, don't get off to the greatest of starts. Yeah, I did try and pass the ball, but we lost and didn't work. And then all of a sudden they start peppering us with shots and Anderson pulling off a great save uh, in the end with, I mean, what was that, like four or five shots all in the one. Um, if we get up the other end, Morrison puts it in, right the keeper, and then again, Bobby Burns with a phenomenal um, opportunity to score. Uh, it didn't really matter because he scored literally two minutes later, but... I don't, I'm, I'm looking at, I don't think he should have scored that header. He should have scored the open goal, which he put right to the keeper, but I'll take it. Um, I mean, he's, what, 5'8", and he's winning a header. Not like people like Messi can win headers, and then second half comes around, they get an equaliser. But at this point, I'm pretty sure we are still technically ahead on away goals. Uh, three each, we had two away goals. I, I kept this in because I was like, what the fuck? Like, where is that actually? Look, that's actually out the stadium at that point. Um, very questionable. But, not many highlights of that game, but we did win. Um, on away goals. And I wanted to make sure as well, obviously. So, next game's up against Celtic. And then we have two more qualifiers against Panathinaikos. Now I've got a game against Dundee and St Mirren. Um, however, can I go into the Panathinaikos game yet? Because we have Celtic. And I need to rotate because I really care about the Champions League this season. That's like the main focus for me. Um, not too fussed about the Scottish Cup either. If we get knocked out of that, I don't mind. Because I, 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 want, to, I want to go far in the Champions League. It's the first season we failed on the Europa League campaign, uh, but I suppose we made up for that and actually winning the league. However, this game just wasn't my game. 
Anderson pulls off a good save, heads it off post, and then it goes on anyway. Um, and this was Ryan Christie's game as well. Christie was everywhere. Uh, but look at that. Trying to pass it out, just bounces off the players, doesn't even you know, it doesn't even select the player that I'm trying to pass to and then it bounces off and goes to somebody else. Then here's a phenomenal strike from Ryan Christie. Pretty tight angle but sublime finish. And I did get um I did get a replay of it because I was like, what the hell just happened? How did I get that? Like the keeper never even moved. But then you see it again from this angle coming up. And it's just it really is brilliant. I feel like the defender should have been doing more to try and keep it out, Carolina. But um, it is what it is, it was 2-0. And then at this point I was just falling apart, I had nothing on. Make the tackle, they get the ball back and then they score. <sighs> just typical FIFA really for you. Um, but I can't, I can't really... Um, I can't really do much about it, I can't really complain, it is Celtic at the end of the day. Their team isn't as good as um, they are in real life, I would say. We do eventually get a chance in the 92nd minute and this happens. Right, it's got been. Aye, but I don't think their team is are as good as it is in real life, but uh, it is what it is. We lost 3-0. We've not lost that badly for a while. <laughs> but Panathinaikos, first leg, away leg. Um, and... They're playing a five at the back formation as well, so it's very similar to us. If you just move that middle centre back forward a wee bit, it's just the same formation as us. Um, so yeah, I was expecting a very tough game. I have to say, um, because it's in the Champions League, and we always really struggled with the Europa League. Get a good attempt at the start, four minutes in, Navarro puts it wide, and. He's not been the same player this season. He's been he's been a bit more quiet. Um He's still good at dribbling, he's still good at all that stuff, but he's just he's just no the same player. Um just to let you know actually this was actually a free kick and not a penalty. Um So that's why there isn't a highlight of it. And if it was a penalty then we would have obviously missed it. Um but yeah, nothing came of the free kick. And that that was a good a, a good showing of Navarro's um, dribbling skills. He's obviously good at dribbling. He's got he's got the pace. You know what I mean. He's got the ninety pace. Um, however, Anderson Icos got up the other end. Good cross right over the head of Jack Henry. I don't really know if there's much I could have done apart from better Martin. And then that's one 0 to them. And I'm thinking right, we really need to get into this. So the man will find a way to squeeze through, and it's one each. Just like that, and then we're ahead, technically on away goals. Um, very nice finish from Romano as well. Uh, he's a he's a good player. Um, although I don't think he's got potential because he's not got like you know how when you do player training, and um, some players have the weak team bar and some don't. He doesn't have it, so I don't think he has any more than seventy nine potential, which is gutting because. He's fun, to, he's fun to use, you know what I mean? He's like the perfect striker. Six foot, got a wee bit of pace. Um, fun to use. He's just he's just a very decent player. Um, but we get a corner here. And Navarro with a phenomenal ball in and the header to match it. <sighs> Jack Hendry. All hail Jack Hendry. Only in FIFA, not in real life. Um, but this header, I have to say, is absolutely world class. Um, I don't think any keeper in the world is saving this. Just look at that. There's a better angle of it here as well. Just, he leaps up, beats everybody to it. Look at the flight path of that ball. Right into the corner. Like that is, you know, right into the side netting. Just absolutely incredible goal. Um, very happy about that. Anderson pulls off a good save here. Uh, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it to go in though. I was expecting him to pull off the save. If he never, if he never saved it, I would have been like, right, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, this next clip, I was just very happy about this whole move in general. Which is why I'm keeping it from, well, the goalkeeper 
thrown it out. Danny into the mano and the finish. Just the whole passing move was perfect. And at this point, I'm thinking, well, this is the away leg. We're probably through. You know what I mean? Navarro picks up the ball on the edge of the box. Uh, gets a wee break, but the break wasn't really... I mean, the strike wasn't good enough, and the break wasn't really what, I, what we were wanting. Um, and then, in the, well, the uh, kind of speak, the ball comes back to him. And that's how the game ends. And then in the next game, Dundee will be in the next episode. Um, rotated team again, because we've got Panther Icos after it. So if you've enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode to see if we've actually made it into the Champions League. See you then.